And on the Central Coast right now, it's very calm and tranquil right now. That's right. Beautiful evening out there. No clouds in the sky. Wind is dying down. Some spots are still in the 70s, so I'd Whoa. say it is a great night if you are headed out and about for your Monday night. Maybe you're daring and heading out on a Monday. Either way, here's a look from Domenico's on the wharf this evening. You're looking at the Monterey Harbor where visibility is very clear. I don't expect that we'll see any of those low clouds tonight, and it will be clear and sunny tomorrow. Tomorrow is still set up to be the hottest day of the week, and in fact, we do still have a heat advisory, or we do now have, rather, a heat advisory that will go into effect 10 a.m. tomorrow and will last through 10 p.m. tomorrow night. Now, notice this encompasses all of San Benito and Santa Clara counties, most of the upper elevations of Santa Cruz County, so the Santa Cruz Mountains. It actually also uh, ropes in Salinas, Carmel Valley, takes you all the way down the Salinas Valley and even down there in the San Antonio Valley. So all of these areas are going to be seeing very hot temperatures well above average and that will last really th through Thursday is when we're going to see that major heat, but the advisory itself is just for Tuesday. So on Tuesday, the heat will be the main concern. But as we head through Wednesday and Thursday, we have a couple other things to talk about. So right now we're looking at uh, right in the New Mexico area. There's all of this monsoonal moisture Now this is moving really quickly. And there are some models that are saying that by Wednesday afternoon, we're going to see this plume of moisture arriving sort of on the southern portion of the Big Sur coast. So if this happens, since we will still be quite hot on Wednesday. We'll still see 90s and triple digits for many areas. What we're not going to get is rain. So it's not that kind of moisture. It's the type that will interact with the heat in a way that the air rises. We could get some convection. And with that, we could actually see a couple of dry thunderstorms. Now, at this time, the likelihood of this happening is very low, but we do still have to mention it because it is the height of our fire season. And if we did get a dry lightning strike, that would not be good news. And even as we head into Thursday, there's a s even lighter chance, even lesser chance, but still a widespread uh, possibility of those dry thunderstorms happening. So we will get a better idea of the likelihood of this as we get closer to Wednesday and Thursday. And this is something that we'll be keeping an eye on. But for now, you can kind of bank on that inland heat risk through Thursday. It's going to be high. It is going to be very hot. So if you're somebody who's sensitive to the heat, try and stay inside, stay cool, stay hydrated at the coast. The, the heat's not going to be all too bad. In fact, it's just going to be a few really nice beach days. Now, the risk for those dry thunderstorms at this time also very, very low. We'll be watching that for you, but it does not look very likely. Also keep in mind, though, that our fire danger at this time of year is low. As we head through the rest of tonight, we're not going to see any clouds. In fact, we're going to have offshore winds by morning that'll dry us out for the first half of the day, but then onshore winds do return tomorrow afternoon and there'll be lighter winds, so they're not going to provide much relief from that major heat that we're going to be seeing. As a matter of fact, here's a look at those temperatures tomorrow. Even Santa Cruz on the beach looking at 94 degrees, 90 for Capitola. We're seeing upper 90s for Scotts Valley all the way up toward Boulder Creek. Triple digits in Felton, 88 in Bonnie Dune, upper 70s in Davenport. Headed over to the greater Salinas area, 89 here, upper 80s for Prunedale as well. We're seeing upper 90s for San Juan Batista all the way over to Hollister, Santa Clara County, Gilroy, all the way through Morgan Hill. You'll be in the lower hundreds, 76 for Castroville, 75 in Marina. But on the other side of the bay, we have low 90s for Aptos and Watsonville. We're going to be warming up at the peninsula as well. Monterey at the airport, you should be in those mid 80s tomorrow, upper 70s for Seaside and Carmel. Uh, lower 70s though for Pacific Grove and Pebble Beach staying a little bit more temperate out there. Once you get to King City, it's all hundreds from there. Bradley 102, 101 for the San Antonio Valley. Even the pinnacle making it up to 101, 97 in Soledad, and then lower 90s for Gonzales and Carmel Valley, upper 80s for Big Sur. For those coastal areas, tomorrow will be hot, at least for this time of year. Wednesday through Thursday, we'll be keeping an eye on that slight, slight chance of dry storms, and then we'll be in the upper 70s all the way through the beginning of next week. As for inland areas, we are averaging out in the 90s all the way through the next seven days. Tomorrow will be the hottest. You'll see the most triple digits tomorrow, although those do have the chance of hanging out with us all the way through Thursday. Friday, Saturday, we should see a little bit of a breeze returning. And don't forget, tomorrow is the first official day of summer, Phil.